Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shalom. The Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayer and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The title of this prophetic word says, This woman hit her hand on her chest and said, You will never. Ah, Kimano Shatalabasiata. The title of this prophetic word says, This woman hit her hand on her chest. Ah, and said, You will never. You know, I. I'm shouting because I know what this means. I'm shouting because I, <laughs> oh Jesus, I know the magnitude of what I'm about to say right now. Yeah. And I'm going to explain what the never is to you. And this will be a great confirmation to you. It's it will make you begin to understand. It will, it will make you not take life so simple. One thing you must do is you must take life very serious. I say it again. One thing you must do is you must take life very, very serious. Now, let me start by saying this. Words are seeds. And whatever seed that you plant will always come out into a harvest. Even if some die, not every seed will die. So I say it again, words are seed. So that is why the Bible says, whatsoever a man soweth, he shall reap it. What you sow is what you will reap. Every word that comes out of a man's mouth will either make the man or break the man. I say it again. Every word that comes out of a man's mouth will either make a man or break the man. It takes great courage. It takes prayers. It takes the grace of God for a word to be spoken over you. And that word is negative and you still succeed. I'm an example. You know, I'm one of the people who is too real here. I'll tell you the truth. Growing up, I did not have a good relationship with my father. You know, I was very innocent. And my father would instead look at me as the scattered one. Because I was very different from my sibling physically. So, because I was very different from my siblings physically, I just had my own character. But in the character I had, I wasn't doing anything like, you know. Now, it was rather the opposite. I, I was innocent, but my father thought that I wasn't. Rather, my siblings looked innocent and calm, but they were doing what I wasn't doing. <laughs> And that's the irony about it. So I had the mentality that my father hated me, you know, because he would pick offense at the least thing I do. And so I, I could not even meet eyeball to eyeball with him. If, you, if my father is in a place, I don't go. If my father is in the sitting room, I'm in the room. If he's in the room, I'm in the sitting room. Once he's getting into the sitting room, I'm leaving. You know, that's how I grew up. He was always insulting me. Now, insulting me with the mentality that he was afraid that I might fail. What is the failure? 
unwanted pregnancy and all that. Meanwhile, I did not even have a boyfriend. Meanwhile, I was, I was avoiding a lot of things, you know, and all that. So it was just so different with me. One day I was by the toilet. No, my father was by the toilet. I was inside the toilet, he did not know. So he was talking to my mother and then he said, this lady, Ethel, is going to suffer in the future. For what reason, I don't know. That wasn't a curse, but that was just his maybe imagination. Those were his words. When I stepped out of the toilet, he saw me, he felt so bad because he did not know I was listening. I left. I was always crying, feeling like my father hated me. Not until I decided I was going to succeed. I started praying and became a very hardworking lady. When I started all that, now my life began changing. When my life started to change, I know that someday he saw, he sat and he thought about all this, you know, and I know that he should have been remorseful, even though he had never spoken to me about, but he's very proud of me. My father talks to everybody about me. I'm telling you, he speaks highly of me. I don't know for what reason he did that in the past, but it would have been maybe ignorance. It wasn't a curse. There was just words. But those words impacted me negatively and positively. Negatively because my mind was down. I felt belittled. Positively because I later on made up, made up my mind to become very hardworking. Somebody you're watching me right now. A woman beat her hand on her chest and said you will never succeed. The woman hates you like hell. The woman does not even want to see you. The woman is so jealous of you. I'm speaking and you know what I'm saying. There is a word that has been spoken over you. And this word has been spoken by a woman. I decree and I declare over your life. This word will not prosper. This word will not manifest. Their plans will not succeed. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Put your hand on your chest and say every evil word, negative word that has been spoken over my life. Say it will not succeed. It will not prosper. It will not happen in Jesus mighty name. Amen. It will not happen. Begin to speak that over your life. Let the words begin to expire. Words of failure, words of sadness spoken over your life. Let them expire in Jesus' name. Amen. Please don't forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. If this has been of great help to you, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Welcome to the family. If you just subscribe now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.